Okay guys, we got green leaf for lunch. You know, that's the best place to get salmon oshi and van. We got the goods. We got the goods. Um, now, we're just gonna go back home, have our lunch. We decided to take a little, oh, I'm literally dropping everything. Okay, <laughs> my wallet went under the car. This is chaotic. That was stressful. Did you drop the keys? <clears throat> I dropped everything, oh, <laughs> basically. Good. Good. Um, but yeah, so we just got lunch and then now we're gonna go back home and eat it and finish our work I have some TikToks that I have to film and um, Emails to do and some more selects. So we're gonna go do that and I'll take you guys with us Okay, hello everyone. I am back That is currently the toilet flushing because I just peed um, but I Said I was gonna pick up the camera Dana and I came home. We were so hungry. We ate our sushi like so quickly and I'm not joking. We got the worst stomach ache and we were just not okay, but we pushed through it. I did some TikToks. I did some unboxing and we just sat at our computers and did emails and stuff. So she went home early today um, just because we really were not feeling okay. Um, if you know what I'm saying after the sushi. So we felt sick anyway. Um, so she left and I'm just tidying up the place because I don't know. I just feel like my apartment gets messy so quickly. No matter what I do, if I bring one thing out, oh, you know. It just gets really messy really fast. So I'm just tidying up the place, was wiping down the mirrors. Um, but yeah, I did this really cute TikTok hair tutorial of this like Hailey Bieber inspired hair. And I think it's so cute. I love it. I think I will definitely wear this more often. Um, I just like the way it looks and I love when my hair is out of my face. So that is an A plus from me. Um, for makeup today, I actually love how I did my makeup and I did it so quickly. Um, but I think it's because I just self tanned and everything's better when you self tan, like your makeup, everything. You just feel better about yourself with the tan. So I did basically like my everyday makeup look. I really did nothing too crazy. Um, but I just love the way it looks right now. Sorry, <laughs> sorry that I'm feeling myself. Um, but I got these sunglasses in the mail, so I wanted to show them to you guys because I posted them actually on Instagram and everybody hates them. Everyone hates them. So here, wait, I need to put my camera. We're gonna use this tripod. I think it's good, Beth. Okay, so here are the sunglasses. They're from Luis Villaroma and they're Bottega. Like, I kind of think that they're sick. Like, I don't know, everyone's hating on them, but I kind of love them, like, kind of a vibe. I also am, I'm wearing pants, if anyone was wondering. Um, but I think that they're cute, and I love that they're pink, um, but they are pretty, like, speedy. They're pretty much dad sunglasses, which is a little bit throwing me off. Um, it's giving very much, like, Adam Sandler vibes, but I like them, they're cool. So I picked up those and I got this other skirt um, from Louis Vuitton Roma and I think it's so cute. I actually shared it in a TikTok. So if you guys see that TikTok, it's probably already gonna be seen. Um, we're gonna set the camera here. Good. Perfect. Also, office is a mess. What else is new? Um, but this is the skirt. It's from the Attico. And I ordered it in a size 6 because it was the last size and I just feel like my body dysmorphia always makes me get a bigger size in things and lots of the time I'm correct but a lot of the time I'm very incorrect and this skirt is huge on me it like literally sits like down it literally sits like right there on like the widest part of my hip um, so I might go take it 
in to the tailor because I really want to be able to like love this skirt and enjoy it but I don't think I'll be able to do that if it literally falls off my body and I just wish it was like a little bit higher like I love the low waist trend but I don't know I just feel like I don't love showing my belly button because I had my belly button pierced when I was in high school and ever since I like took it out I just don't like the hole that I have above my belly button so that's kind of why I like to always cover it it's just like a personal thing um but the skirt's really cute so I'm excited about that I'm gonna style with uh, I'm gonna style it when I go to LA in a few weeks so I'm gonna save it for that trip um but then this is another piece I wanted to share it's from um mock and mock match and match Mac and Mac. I don't know how to pronounce the brand. I say Mock and Mock. Um, they sent me this bag, and if you guys know me, you know that Mock and Mock's like one of my all-time favorite brands. So this was very cool and very exciting. So I'm very pleased with it, and it goes perfectly with my heels that I have from them. So I'm very excited about this piece. Like I think that this bag is so cool, and I cannot wait. To style it like I think it even looks cute maybe not with the sweatshirt but like I just think it's so cute and it's very easy to wear and it's one of those caught it <laughs> it's one of those like statement pieces that will just like make any look look elevated if you have like a t-shirt and jeans on and a cute pair of heels in the bag it's like it's stunning so that's the little update over here my camera is about to die so I'm gonna quickly go charge it and I'll come back in a few Okay, so I just got this order in the mail from Lisa Gonzalez, and I believe that they're a Canadian-based jewelry company, but they sent out these really cute bracelets. I actually have one of her smiley face bracelets, but they're purple, so I wanted a um, just gold one, and then these pearl rings, which I've never seen before. I think that they're so fun and so cute, and then... I got these like just classic, bl or not black, <laughs> classic gold hoops. They look very similar to the ones that I wear like literally every day. Um, so this is a really good dupe. So I'll have them linked um, in the description box. But then the pair that I'm wearing, sorry, the mirror is like really dusty. But look at how cute these are. They're like diamond hoops. And I have like my trusty safety pin earrings and then just my diamond earrings from Knits. But I love this. I think that they're so cute. Um, her stuff is like honestly amazing. Here, right. There we go. I love it. It's so good. So I immediately put them on. Sorry, I have to like un <laughs> unzoom. Oh, I just keep zooming more. Um, but yeah. These are the earrings, they're so cute. I'm really feeling like I need to wash this tan off my body. Um, I just am in the mood, it's like five o'clock I think. It's 6.30, it's almost seven. It's almost seven and it's still bright outside. That is amazing for Vancouver. Um, but it's like bath time for me basically and I'm still cleaning up the place. So what else is new? But I really just wanna like make myself a nice bath and just like, you know, relax. But I have this self tan on and I kinda wanna leave it on a little bit longer. So I don't really know what to do about that. But I have some really cute new pieces in the mail. Um, and I'll show them to you guys maybe tomorrow. Um, but I was thinking maybe doing like a little try on in this haul because, or not in this haul, in this vlog, um, because I have some really cute new pieces and I really want to share them with you guys. I'm obsessed with everything and I just keep looking around the apartment, looking at how messy it is, but I feel like I'm just going to go make some dinner. I have leftovers from last night. I made this like really yummy salmon salad bowl, but I'm not like that hungry yet. So I don't know if I'm going to make it right now. But I'm going to make dinner soon and then I'm going to have my, my bath and shower and get into bed. So I will see you guys in the morning and if I end up making my salad bowl, I'll film it. But I'm not too sure yet, so stay tuned. Hi guys. So I didn't film anything this morning because we were just getting ready and getting set up. But today Dana and I just thought it would be fun to shoot in a studio just to like 
get re-inspired. Um, I just feel like there's lots of clothes that I want to shoot and I don't really feel like shooting out in public right now just because the weather in Vancouver has been really bad and my apartment is just way too small to get like a full like situation going um if you know what i mean so we're in a studio today it's just in gastown it's so cute and i'm quickly curling my hair because i didn't have time this morning um i'm just like adding in like a few a few waves i'm almost done but we brought lots of looks and i don't know what i'm gonna wear yet so i might need some assistance on that but i'm excited i'll show you guys the studio in a minute when i'm done my hair but yeah it's really cute i've never been here before i've actually never shot in a studio in vancouver i don't think so i'm very excited um i don't really know what else there's to to update you guys on we're here for only a few hours so it's kind of crunch time but we'll get it done my hair taking longer than I thought. This is a, um, it's a Gizu curling wand. And I used to not like it, but now that my hair is longer, I actually really love using it to just like add in some waves. And I'm kind of a fan of it now. So I've been using this to just like add some texture and I'm just wrapping it around, leaving it on for a few seconds and then just taking it out. I don't really care if it's not perfect. Um, I kind of just want like a beachier wave look, so even though beachy waves are not in style apparently, but I think this is cute. Okay, well, that's that, um, but this is what the studio looks like. So we got this little coat hanger, water bottle, and then here are my outfits that I brought. I brought a lot of stuff um, just because I wasn't sure like what I was in the mood to shoot, but it's so cute. Here's Dana. And then we have this like big backdrop, and then this is a light reflector. So we're gonna be using up the whole space today, and I'll take you guys along with us. Okay guys, so it's about two hours later. We're just tidying up the place to head out. I don't know why I'm not in focus. I swear that that's the story of my life. But we just finished and we killed it. It was so cute, the photos. I'm excited to post them. Um, but yeah, such a cute studio in Gastown. Like I don't know if I fully even showed the whole thing. I can't remember, but this is what it looks like. We moved the couch and this is the view of Gastown. Hello, you guys. Today is Friday. Um, it's actually almost three o'clock um, and Dana and I just got home from the grocery store. We've been working all morning. Um, the girls and I filmed our new episode of TSS and we went to go pick up some food because I have no groceries and we were hungry and I was craving my favorite chicken strips. Um, I'm gonna show you them, the packaging. Um, they're actually vegan, they're by the brand Unmeetable and I've actually refrained from sharing these on stories for a really long time um, just cause they're like almost always sold out at the grocery store I go to so I just kind of want to gatekeep them, but obviously I'll tell you guys on the vlog um, about them because you guys are loyal, but they're so good. They're, they're amazing. You just put some like um, sweet and sour sauce on them or like ketchup and put them in the air fryer for 15 minutes. Stunning, but this is a little haul. 
I've been loving this like salmon arugula salad. So I got a salmon and what I do for the salmon, I put it in the air fryer and just use honey, lemon, soy sauce, garlic. And then the salad is an arugula salad with some rice in it. And then I put feta, avocado, and tomato. And it's truly the best thing with a ton of lemon drizzled on it and some olive oil and some salt and pepper. It's so good. It's like my favorite thing right now. So I got that so I can make that this weekend. But we're going to have some like olives, chicken fingers, hummus, crackers situation right now. So I'm going to go make that. Okay, you guys, Dana's doing a taste test of the unmeatable chicken strips. <laughs> Austin excited. Austin thinks they taste like carrot cake, so I'm curious to know Why what... Why did you tell me that? That's going to skew my opinion. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't think you will, because I don't taste it at all. Okay. But I need someone else to give me an opinion if I'm crazy or not. <laughs> I'm a big chicken strips girl, so I'll give you my honest opinion. And they're vegan. They're like crunchy... They're really good. They're so good. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Hi, vlog. Um, it's Saturday morning. It's 12.52. And I got home from a workout not too long ago. My hair is a little bit greasy. Um, but this was actually my first time working out, going to a class that Cameron or my friend Nina, who they both moved from Vancouver, weren't going to be teaching at. So I was a little bit nervous. I didn't know what to expect, but honestly, it was such a good workout. I'm so happy I went, um, but I thought I would come on here. I don't know. My hair is just like all, I haven't brushed it yet today. Um, so forgive me for that, but I just wanted to come on to the vlog because I'm just kind of like getting organized. Um, I leave for Tulum on Friday. So today's Saturday. So less than a week I go to Tulum so I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got for my trip here I'll set my camera right here is this good Did I close this um so yeah I'm going to Tulum for my best friend's bachelorette I'm in her wedding and we've been best friends since the seventh grade she's actually a year younger than me so she was in the sixth grade I was in the seventh grade but I'm so excited I'm gonna see all my friends from home there's 21 of us going so it's gonna be a crazy trip I am so excited to vlog um, I don't know how much of it is gonna actually make it onto the vlog because my friends they go hard they are pretty big drinkers I'm kind of worried for myself because I normally am the one who I'm not taking care of them but I feel like I'm definitely the most sober one out of all of them um, so I'm kind of nervous about that because I don't want to get sick I don't want to like overdo it like trying to keep up with them but I thought I'd show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up for my trip because I almost have all of it in the mail but first off these are the custom sweaters I had made for all the girls going on the bachelorette and so they're so freaking cute I actually got them yesterday and I'm so excited about them so Tate is her name obviously so it says Tate takes to loom um, last splash 2022 so cute I cannot wait to wear this and it's just a classic Gildan sweatshirt and I got it in, I so they were sold out of extra larges which is what I was gonna get for everyone but they had um, larges and then they had 2x so I got a 2x because I wanted it to be like really oversized and baggy and I would just wear like biker shorts under it um, but it's so cute I'm so happy with how it turned out and honestly we can thank Dana for honestly making this happen um, she really pulled it all together to get the sweaters made um, and they came out perfect so we're all gonna wear these to the airport so that's like the first thing that I have for the trip um, and then I thought I would just kind of like go through my selects and show you guys I don't I don't have a, a bra on um, and this sweaters really short so if I flash you guys, I'm sorry. So I'm going to show you guys some of the bikinis that I picked out for the trip. And we do kind of have a theme um, for the bachelorette. And we do have like planned days of when we're supposed to wear like certain colors um, or just like be on theme. So I thought I'd show you guys some of the stuff and you can kind of help me 
pack because this video is going to go up on Monday and I still have until Friday. So in the comments, if you let me know, um, should I try these on? Honestly, I'm not doing anything. Let's try them on. Okay, so this is the first bikini set. It's from um, Shop We Were What and I am obsessed with it. It's just this like, it's a really supportive bikini top, which I think would be amazing for any people who are looking for more support um, in their bust area. It's really, really supportive. It's super comfortable. And I feel like some sometimes these tops can look unflattering on, which is why I usually stick to like a triangle style. I just feel like for me, in my body that's kind of what I find is the most flattering but I am obsessed with this bikini and the fact that it comes with a matching skirt I just think it's so cute and I love the print it's really fun and then the bottoms are like this so that's the bikini set um, this is definitely coming with me I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to wear it but we'll see and then I'll show you guys the next one that I picked out as well Okay, so I'm having <laughs> I'm having trouble. My nails are too long for me to fully like do this up. But this is the bikini top. It's just like a bandeau style. And then it has this really beautiful seashell chain that goes up like this. I obviously can't put it on properly. And then the matching bikini bottoms. <laughs> I didn't put them on. But they just are the exact same cut as the other ones I showed you. And they're pink. So so cute i love this this is also shop we were what um her bikinis i find are so flattering and i feel like i always have trouble with finding bikinis that look good on my body and her stuff just fits me really well so i love this set and this is the first thing i'm gonna bring with me okay so this is the next outfit that i have this is from for love and lemons and it's a bikini as you can see underneath kind of it's really cute and i just love the sheer dress over top this isn't actually what i picked out from the website um i chose the bikini and then like a button down shirt that's matching but they sent me this dress and i actually kind of like the dress more so it did work out in my favor but i think that this would just be cute for the day we go to the beach club which i'm really excited about and i just like being a little bit covered up for the most part <laughs> at the beach um i like having something that i can throw on and like know that i'm comfortable and like feel confident in over top of my bikini if i'm not feeling that way um so i really love this and i wanted to show you guys two pairs of shoes that i got because they are kind of iconic so these are from public desire and they look exactly like the Versace ones, which I love. Like, um, I some of my friends have them, and they're really beautiful. But I just went for the for the dupe version of them. Um, I couldn't justify getting the full price ones, not right now. I wanted to see what I thought of these first, but honestly, they look identical. So I got them in the black, and then I got them in the pink which i think this color is like the color of the year so i feel like these will get lots of use out of them um they're really cute and i just love a platform moment so these are coming with me as well okay so next fit is this really cute like crop top bra top and trouser moment this is from for love and lemons as well and i just love a trouser i just find trousers so comfortable especially to the beach like with a bikini i think they're so comfortable and you can really style them for day to night which is why i have so many trousers in my wardrobe because i truly wear them all the time and it's giving Hailey bieber which is always what we want to aim towards so i love this set i think it's so cute the color pfg is back It'll be back on the feed. It's not yet, but it's coming. So don't you guys worry about that. But so cute. I am obsessed. Okay, so I am really excited about this look right here. This dress is from Meshki, and I kind of want to order it in the black because I just think it's so stunning. It fits 
really nicely and I just feel like a black version of it would just be so flattering and beautiful to have in my wardrobe. It's just one of those like perfect little black dresses that I feel like I will never get rid of in my closet but when I got the shoes and I saw this dress online it was over so I'm so going to wear these together and I can't wait. I think it's so cute and I love it. So Meshki has really good stuff right now if you guys are looking for some like spring pieces, spring summer pieces. I'm obsessed with everything Meshki has on their website. So this is the other look that I got for the trip. The dress is a little short and these slits are a little risque but I'm probably just gonna wear like I'll probably wear like either like boy shorts underneath maybe not boy shorts because it does go pretty high but like I'll wear something so I can feel comfortable and covered but yeah very cute okay and then the last thing that I'm going to share with you guys is this set this is from cool as a construct and it's a little big on me like the top I feel like the skirt fits perfect but I ordered it in a medium for top and skirt and I just feel like if I was dancing or like moving a lot, the top may fall down. So I might have to get like double sided tape for it or pin it on the sides so you won't see it. But I feel like this outfit is just like so Tulum vibes. Not that I've ever been to Tulum so I know what the vibe is. But I just feel like when I see this I think of like a hot holiday, Mexico you know the vibe I think it's so cute and I cannot wait to style this so that is what I am packing with me there are other pieces that I'm gonna bring but I'm gonna save them because I don't want to share everything I don't know why I just like hiccuped um but yeah I'm bringing this stuff and there is gonna be more that will be coming in the mail um but I'll have that in next week's vlog but I just wanted to give you guys like a packing sneak peek you guys can tell me your thoughts, your opinions, everything on what I have so far. Um, but yeah, I kind of love it. I love the pink. I think it's so fun. It's perfect for a bachelorette because I feel like it's actually really hard to find beach wear or clothes for a trip to Mexico, especially for a bachelorette that aren't white. I feel like every time I think of the beach, I think of like, white linen trousers or like a white bikini or a white cover-up or a white button-down something that's white and I definitely am staying away from the color white just to give all of that shine to the bride um so yeah I went with pink because when in doubt go with pfg and so that's what I'm doing and I think I have a good selection of stuff I'm not gone that long I'm gone Friday to Wednesday so it's not that long but I'm very excited.